First and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Second, I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of GMS that do rule well. Peace, love, hope, and salutations to the hopeful elect that scattered across the four corners of the world. Shalom to you, Akim, that's out there risking your life and your freedom to do so. Via highways and byways or via the internet. Shalom to you for your Aguas that do subscribe and do learn. But I be my Aguas women. And shalom to you for your children that subscribe and learn as well. Okay? Today's lesson is going to be entitled More Subtil Than Any Beast of the Field. You know? This is going to be based about the serpent and who basically the serpent is that, that the Bible is referencing about because a lot of people get this really mixed up and these wacky tacky watered down. Christian churches, especially these pastors, don't really spot on as to what it is that this is speaking about. Okay? Alright. So this is Genesis chapter 3. I'm going to read. Uh, I don't know how much of this I'm going to read. I'll probably just read a good amount. Now the serpent was more subtil than any beast of the field. Which Yahweh, thou power had made. Well, actually, it's supposed to be which the powers had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, have power said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, You know, serpent just means deceiver and whatnot, said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, power hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest ye shall die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall, ye shall not surely die. For power hath known that in the day ye, ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye sh shall be as powers. Knowing good and evil. Okay. And when the woman. And it's a typical. Typical Jake woman today. And when the woman. Saw that the tree was good for food. That it was pleasant to her eyes. And a tree to be desired to make one wise. She took of the fruit thereof. And did eat. And gave unto her husband which was with her. So where the hell did this say in here. That they took an apple and ate. If anything does not even describe. Any fruit that they eat. You know, but that's metaphorically speaking of the knowledge that she's indulging in. She indulging in, in that knowledge and that bullshit philosophy that Esau, Edom, is putting upon her. The serpent that they're talking about is not talking about a snake. You know? So that's why he said now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which Yahweh, which the powers had made. Or you can say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Because ultimately, Yahweh gave the blueprint to Yahweh Shah. And Yahweh Shah created the whole world. Yahweh just gave him the blueprint and how he wanted the world to be established from, from top to bottom. Okay? Let me get that word subtil. Okay, that's the word subtil in the Greek. Strong's H, 6175. Arum. 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 Okay, Arum. Second entry. Arum. Oh, Arum. 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 Okay. Sub -sub Subtil, straight, crafty, sly, sensible, crafty, sensible, prudent. So somebody that has that has that's very knowledgeable of something, you know. So whoever that, in in particular, let me see again. Just in case that, you know, the Akim, whoever out there watching the videos, you didn't chance to see the definition. Subtil, shred, crafty, shy, sensible. No. Somebody that's sly, slick. Very, very crafty. And this, this, this devil is very crafty. So only a devil would have done that because it, cause he was envious from the beginning. Okay? In which the more subtle than any beast of the field, which 
Yahweh power had made. Okay. Well, with that, because now you know that the, the, the serpent, I give you a glimpse that the serpent was a um, actual physical man. He was Esau with melon. That's all. Okay? And and how? Because look at look at look at the curse. Right, let me read the curse that this devil got. And the power said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. You know? Creation, creature. We was cre we are creatures. We we are creatures. Upon the belly shalt thou go, and the dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. So basically, Esau is the lowest of the fucking lowest, man. And I will put an enmity between thee and the woman, and between thou seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Okay? And that right there is talking about Esau and Jacob. Okay, cause this devil came back as um he came back as uh Cain and Cain slewed um Abel and then in the reincarnations reincarnation does exist they came back as Esau and Jacob okay that same spirit that was on Abel you know, it came back as, as the form of, 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 of Jacob. And I can 100% believe it because reincarnation does exist. And when this time around, let me get it. Let me get it. Bear with me one minute, I can. One minute. Okay, let me use 27. 25. One minute. I'm trying to find it. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I went past it. This is Genesis. This is Genesis. I'm trying to get the actual of the verse to add up with. Okay, I, you know what? I can I can use this too. Genesis twenty twenty three. I'm just gonna do twenty three on down twenty five. So this is Genesis chapter twenty five. Verse 23 and down. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. See? He did say he was going to put an enmity between thy seed and her seed. I mean, two matters of people. You know? It's going to be... in two nations, it's two separate different types of, of people. So this is Esau coming back. Two nations are in thy womb, and two matters of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the other people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder... Shall, shall serve the younger. Okay. So, who are we serving right now? Esau. Esau came out first. So, he's about to serve Jake. And when the first came out red all over like an hairy garment, and they called his name Adawa, which is red, Esau. And after that came out his brother, and his, and his hand took hold on Esau's hill. Subliminal. You know, we're going to be the ones who's going to bring you double down. And his name was called Jacob. And Isaac, okay, Isaac was three score years old when he bared, when she bared them. Oh, here you go. And the boys grew. And Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. Okay. Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. Okay, and Jacob is the ordinary guy, like to just dwell in peace. That's it. And your typical Jake just like to chill in the crib, you know, kick back, you know, grab some brews or whatever. You know, Jake just, Jake was Jake. 
feel me? But Esau, he just, he's just a cave. He was a beast. Love being in, 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 in that field. So that right there tells you the characteristic of who this, who this, this devil really is. Who is this devil that they're talking about in the Garden of Eden? This same devil right here. Okay, let me let me go back. Okay. And and the power said into the serpent, and the power said into the serpent. Well, you can see how Bashim how Shah, but it's that's supposed to be the powers, correctly, because they're the other ones that help you. Shah created the um the world, the powers. Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. But in Genesis 25, 25 and twenty seven said the boy is growing. Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. Okay. So Esau, you read you 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 devil. We know who we know who you are, man. You're the same devil. It's right here, that same serpent. That's why I said now the serpent was more subtle. The serpent, the word serpent means deceiver. It was more crafty than any beast of the field which a higher power had made. And Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. So this right here is talking about Esau. It can't be talking about anyone else because Esau is he, he, he is a cunning hunter man of the field. Now all the creatures that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah made, that Yahweh gave our Lord Yahweh Shah to me, Esau, the serpent, the devil, is more subtle and crafty than any of those beasts. It's more subtle than any beast of the field which Yahweh our power made. So we can kill that, that snake bullshit. Because I'm tired of you pastors, man, out there feeding my people that, that crap. Give them, give them the truth. Let them know the ones you get them four and one, you know, you get that, that money from. That's what I was talking about. Let them know that's what I was talking about. And they probably paying y'all off so y'all can give our people this, this, that, that crap. You know, come out, the, man, come out of that, man. I'm straight telling you now. This right here in Genesis chapter 3 is talking about Esau. It's not talking about no fucking sneak. And it's not talking about they ate no goddamn fruit. It's talking about they indulged in the knowledge. That's what it was. You feel me? Naked and, and, and ashamed mean they know they sinned. That's what that means. It means they know they messed up. They was aware of what they did. Because they lived freely. They lived, they lived sin free. They didn't sin. That's what I mean by they was naked and ashamed. And they was naked and it wasn't uh, ashamed. Because they, didn't, they, they wasn't exposed to that. You know, and because Esau was such an envious devil, he gonna go to the to, to the lowest, the lower, the weaker vessel. That's why he came to the woman first. You feel me? That's why he came into the woman first. Ye have the power said you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Man, that's a fucking devil, man. And that's crazy because history is repeating itself. The same alliance that was made right here with this woman and this devil is the same alliance that's going on now. You feel me? You still running to this devil for these wacky, whack down our ass. Man, this, this man is the devil, man. He saw you run your course. You feel me? You ran your course, man. So that's that's really y'all, you feel me? It was on my mind, it was on my spirit. I had seen a, um, a video of the, you know, one of the elders had did. It was a four hour video, and I really sat, I've been sitting up for days watching it, you know, getting a proper understanding. I was like, man. Makes so much sense, so much sense, so much. But do you know that's the same serpent that they're talking about? It's not no sneak. This is an actual man, a deceiver. I mean, that's what that word serpent is speaking of. Because you gotta think about when when the Bible was written, words that apply now might have been super different back then. You feel me? And this is just the work of the devil. You know, the hand man. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. It's only a wicked man would, would, would change up these words and everything. But like the book of Revelation say, those that, that add and take, same thing's going to be done to you. So Esau, man, your tab is due, man. You got a lot to pay for, man. 
But you all that serpent that they're talking about in the Garden of Eden. Esau, you serpent. You feel me? So I hope this video was edifying. You know, I hope that, you know, that I came out there learned something new. So when you read Genesis chapter 3, read it with a different mindset. Read it, read it as if you can actually visualize, you know, this, this devil and stuff. Oh, that's a good brother too, GMS Loyalty. Good brother. Recommend you brother subscribe to that brother channel if you get a chance. Good man. Um, when you read it, just read it with a different mind and a different heart. You know, just read it like as if you see this conversation going on between Eve and, and, and his serpent. You know? So you've been exposed, Esau, man. Jig is up. That that snake, that snake shit, that apple and all that, man, that's not gonna work. You are you are that that, that beast of the field. That's that's what they're talking about. You are that main, you are that 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 beast that they're talking about. There's many a beast. You feel me? Because we are considered we considered to be a beast. But this one, this 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 particular beast that um Yahweh Shemal Shah is talking about is talking about in the form of um a man, not an animal or anything. This is talking about an actual physical man. This is Esau. He had melon at the time. Okay. Because when he came back, when he came as Esau into the world, that's when he came as his actual self. Self. He couldn't hide or deceive us. You know, he couldn't hide anymore. Okay? Alright, so with that being said, I hope this video was, was, was edifying. You know? We're just getting one step closer to the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shah, man. Death to this place, man. Death, death to America. This place, I hope this place get destroyed and we can reign in righteousness. You know? Shalom.